does it. Good call by Mick Cronin. Get him involved. He's just made his last layup that we just showed there on the replay. And what do you do? You try to get your score and get him involved. Look at this. Under Mick Cronin, now in his third year with the program. 15 to 2 run. Look at this. <laughs> so easy for Quinterly as he just shifts. Bishop Montgomery brings great size at 6'4, 210, misses at the line. 7 0 UCLA in overtime. And I would say not to settle. Quinterly a three. Oof. On target. And he backed off. Quinterly swing it inside. Open dunk for the. We'll be heading there momentarily. Quinterly drives in for the deuce. Just pushing off, putting pressure on the ankle. That's the area that he is going to have to test. And talk about testing the area. How about down for Jarius Hamilton? Quinterly with hard on him, giving up some size. Quinterly gets a step. Little runner in the lane is good. Quinterly. Heels and pressure, your help defense isn't as good, so those drives could be there. One thing Alabama doesn't have, they don't really have a shot blocker, especially if Herb Jones is on the perimeter guarding somebody. He's their best shot blocker. Alabama started three for three. Since then, they've missed four in a row until then. Back and forth we go at Hinkle. Those are the first points of the half for Asante Kitts. Quinterly again. Oh, to the hoop for two more. The net. Hit the bottom of the net all year, Kraut. Averaging 22 points a game. One of the four big time scorers in his first year wearing an LSU uniform. Brings the likes of the pistol. You can't keep telling him, just hang in there. It didn't hit me for a while, like day seven, eight. It did the same thing. And that's when he was finally anxious and stuck. Yep. You gotta credit Nate Oates with the defensive intensity of the tide this year. Georgia's eight three pointer keeps him in the game, but an 865 coming into the game. <laughs> They've given up 64 right now. The magic number for Alabama when they get to 80, they never lose, and they just got the eight is five. <laughs> Every time it looks like Alabama's gonna run away with it, Georgia says not quite yet. Oh, an open lane. Somebody just. Quinterly on the drive with the wow. wow. That's already five Auburn turnovers. And that's why there's a displeased Bruce Pearl on the sideline. Left hand scoop Quinterly. And, and a look out below. And that's what I love about Flanagan. I, I prefer him attacking the rim, then going to that three-point shot. I don't like him settling from deep. Had been able to convert at a high level even when they are there. And four of seven from the strike. Alabama led by as many as 16 in the opening half. Winterly putting the moves on the big man. Crosses up. Let's talk about the arc versus the prime real estate under the, under the goal and the free throw line. And so far, the prime real estate that each of these teams wants to occupy not so very well populated <laughs> right now alabama three of 16 and mississippi state red shirt around that ball right there and, and he comes up with the ball gotta have that if you mississippi state alabama only one for nine so far in the second half from outside the arc the question is can mississippi state conjure up enough offense to take advantage of these cold spells nice little ball fake oh it rattles in it different things alabama does the same thing and what it is you've got the guy with the ball and another offensive player will will, will run to the ball like they're going to set a screen and just keep on going it confuses the defense four or five different terminologies trigger screens is one of them smoke screens whatever makes sense to your guys to on gary into the game the key to that you can you can hammer kids in practice. You can have them sit out in practice. When you have a miss a game and it becomes public, everybody like take. That. George's leading scorer, Xavier Wheeler, with ten. Jones, another triple. Is uh, created space. Tried to make a tough jump shot.
Quinterly to the rim. Wow. Kobe Brown out of Huntsville, Alabama. Big guy. One of the things that Conzo told us, we've got to get Kobe Brown to be more productive, and he certainly has been today. 13 points, 6 of 10 shooting, and a big body at 6'7", 240, the sophomore. Paul Sutherland, Joe Klein have that one for you. At Tennessee and Alabama, they're at the top of the league. They seem to be the most impressive in the SEC. And pretty much hands down. Most consistent, but you know, we're going to have to get more aggressive with our offense. Maybe a few more quick hitters. Not so much getting that ball side to side. Trying to match the energy that Alabama's playing with offensively. Quinterly hey, set that all up. He, the block by Eve Ponds changed this game. I don't know if Tennessee's going to come back and win it, but the block by Eve Ponds changed the game. He's got four percent on him. That's a mismatch. Nice dish. All wasn't handled cleanly, but the put is three of seven from the stripe tonight. Usually about an 89 percent free throw shooter, making three of eight after that miss. Eight point game. Eight and a half to go. Wide open three. Petty can't leave him open. He drains it. 